No. Need to put on lipstick. Okay. Um, as you can tell, I actually tried today to look kind of cute. I was going for like a Farrah Fawcett thing, but um, it felt kind of flat. Wait, let me try and flip my hair like Eileen Warnos and see what happens. Oh. Okay, I mean, we got a little bit. We got a little Farrah. That's not why we're here today. I recently, as in yesterday, no, not even yesterday, it came out today. Trisha Paytas' new video with her band, Sad Boy 2005, I giggle because it's just like, you never know what's coming next with her. I mean, I listen, I know she's controversial. I know she has her issues, but the girl is fun to talk about. Like, we love Frenemies right now. Uh, I watch that every week, but she does say some controversial things. I don't know. That might make her more of a good subject to talk about today. So, so I thought I'd try and do something new on my channel where I watch music videos and try and do makeup and kind of react at the same time. I don't know how well it's gonna work out. It might just turn into the music videos exclusively because typically music videos are only about three minutes. So can we get a whole eyeshadow look going in three minutes? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Y'all, I hate living in a two by two apartment. I just had to arrange everything so that I could bring in another chair so I could sit here and watch this video. It's getting old. At least I'm moving soon, so that'll be a good thing. Also, my lighting is different. Let me know what you think about this. Um, it's a ring light instead of a softbox, so I look a little less washed out. Anyway, on to the video. This was posted today, which is... Wow, time is fleeting and I have no idea. Today's the 19th of January. Okay, so let's give a listen to Sad Boy 2005 and with their song 2005. Right away, right away we love that Hilary Duff wig, like it's everything. Then she's coming in with this um, cute monokini, like we love to see it. The hair is laid, like she looks great. And this looks, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I know this video is full of like callbacks to early 2000s videos. I don't know what this one is referring to or if this is a callback to one of her old videos because I feel like I've seen her in this outfit before, this monokini. She looks great. She's really tapping into her extra herself. <laughs> Also, if you guys are if you guys are hearing this, let me know if you think this is 1985, like the instrumental, because I know she has a whole band, um, which includes what's that guy's name? There's there's a guy in there that's really controversial, I guess. I don't really know his name. I know he does like a full like persona with makeup, and it's black. And if I find his picture, I'll put it on the screen. But um, I don't recognize anybody else in the band per se. Oh, yeah, let me know if you think this is 1985. I don't know if the band did a cover to it or if the band is like, you know how the Pussycat Dolls, like, really only Nicole sings and the other bitches just stand there and, like, look cute and, like, I'm not dogging on them. I love the Pussycat Dolls, but really, like, Nicole only does anything. Is that the same, like, deal? Like, is it just Trisha singing and then, like, the band is just kind of, like, for show? Like, I would like to know. Today is moving way too fast I really wish we could go back Before that bitch Angelina took Brad Remember Facts, are you guys team Angelina or team Jennifer Aniston? I always like Jennifer Aniston. I don't know what it is. I do like Angelina Jolie, who how could you not? She is, I mean, they're both beautiful. I hate that we pit women against each other. But like, you know, that was such a, that was such an era. And to like live through that, this video is full of a lot of like nostalgia because I was really young. I wasn't in high school like Trish was when like 2005 was going on, but it's still, you know, I was sentient. I knew what was going on and I knew that like that was a big deal. Kids on TikTok wouldn't know what the hell we're talking about probably if you say Brad Angelina or Brad and Jennifer Aniston like Okay. <laughs> Okay, Miss Fallout Boy, we love to see it. Um, what's that guy's name? Patrick. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Like, Patrick. What's his name? Oh my god, there's Pete Wentz 
and Patrick whatever she's dressed like Patrick from Fall Out Boy um, it's iconic Um, what happened to Evanescence? They made like one album with like three bops, absolute bangers, and then they just dropped off. Like, call me when you're sober. Uh, can't wake up. Save me. I know that song's like a meme now, but like, bring me to life. I know that song's kind of meme -y now, but like, that was everything. When those songs came on the radio, like I literally had a friend that'd be like, you need to shut up now. Like, Amy Lee is singing. She is my queen. And I agree. Amy Lee, where are you at, boo? Because we miss you. You need to make a return. It would be everything. Oh, this was- <laughs> I forgot my own- Ugh, this is embarrassing. I forgot my own gig here today. My eyes are bald. I'm supposed to be doing makeup, too. Oh my god. Okay, so taking a little break from Trisha, I'm using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in- Painterly? Is that the color of it? I always thought that was part of the name. Just putting that all over the eye. Okay. I don't know why I thought I could do like a multitasking scenario because like I have ADHD, so um, I guess we'll see. Okay, and then I'm taking the Lilac You A Lot by ColourPop, just like their little nine pan purple palette. This is what dragged me in. This is what really caught my attention was that the thumbnail, she was wearing the full like Bergalia. Is that how you say that? Bergalia? To um, Panic at the Disco. I write Sins Not Tragedies. I don't know why I'm drawing such a blank today, but it's like actually tragic. I remember when I was a kid, I loved I write Sins Not Tragedies, like most people did when that song came out and my aunt actually had the a fever you can't sweat out album that that's on and i tried to convince her to give it to me just because i like that song so um my aunt sarah if you're watching this i'm sorry i was um annoying but like that song was a bop and you know what i do like that album now even though that was the only song i knew when i wanted it from her so i went in with Ghost in in the crease and then I did is that iffy or jiffy iffy on the outer corner I feel like I feel like with this like her washing the car too she's giving me very Anna Nicole Smith um which RIP miss her very much uh, and it's just, it's just, it's a look, like, it's so weird to think about the early 2000s and, like, she was kind of the it girl and, like, people were really dogging on her for, like, her weight and stuff like that, but, like, she was just so beautiful and I feel like Trisha's really trying to emulate that. I know she loves, um, Anna Nicole, too. Like Jared Little. Girl, me too. Want everybody about Corona. This is everything. Like that's okay. So that's definitely a reference to Blink One Eighty Two, their iconic music video. And my camera's already dying. Like we're just doing our best. I'm sure I'll get it together for the next time I do this. But I really just wanted to like talk about this video because I thought it was actually really cute because sometimes youtubers pop off with videos that are just there's no direction to them i really like watching nick deramio i think his name is and um he does a good job at pointing out like the set design doesn't really work for the story that they're giving us like the makeup the outfits sometimes don't go along with 
the story. Sometimes there is no story when it comes to YouTuber music videos. And I have to say, like, Trisha's earlier music videos kind of did that, where it was just like someone seemed really excited that they did have the opportunity to do a music video, but they didn't really have the direction. Now I'd say it's completely different, where she, like, has a story, has a direction. Sometimes it's just, like, cute and that's what it is, but I think this definitely, like, she knows what she wants to do with it, and it's definitely, like, coming through the screen. Like, I think it was portrayed really well. I know she has professional people that edit and film these, so I'm sure it was really expensive, but, you know, um, I think it came out really great. I also really like, she'll do, um, Broadway music videos. Like, she takes... Someone is slamming, and I'm getting annoyed um but she'll take like broadway stuff like beetlejuice and she'll do just like a full performance on a stage but film that and upload it i just think it's so cool because like obviously if i had the money to do that i would <laughs> so i really like that trisha does that she does like um regular music videos of her own songs then she'll also do like songs from broadway with a full like stage production and then upload those music videos. I think that's really cool. She's done um, Little Shop of Horrors, Beetlejuice. I think in the Little Shop of Horrors one it was all her too, playing all the characters, which I really liked. I said she should do all of Hamilton by herself. She actually responded to my comment about doing Hamilton and said she couldn't just because of like copyright issues, so that's unfortunate because I think she's really into Hamilton as well. Ooh, it'd be really smart if I, like, do these videos, but I theme them with the video. So if I would have done, like, a 2000s look, that'd have been cute. But I didn't think that far ahead, so maybe next time. I love that look that she does of, um... Oh my god, MCR stands don't come for me. I don't remember. Gerard Way from MCR. I know MCR fans are not pleased with her doing that. Um, I don't know. Cause like I get it if you don't like somebody you don't want them to like the things that you like because it kind of like if you don't like somebody then that brings like a ne negative association to things you like but you also can't like gatekeep music you know this is the house labs eyeliner I don't know if it has a name I don't know it's not on the, the components so I don't know the name of this but um, this is actually really good eyeliner. I usually don't like felt tip because I feel like they're always dry even when they're brand new. So I really recommend this one. The eyeliner is not perfect, but it's thick so it goes with the 2000s vibe. Okay, we have chore choreography, we got dancers in here. So I know Trisha has done music videos during COVID and I know she has like a COVID nurse at the site, so that's good because you're seeing a bunch of these people. I mean, it is concerning because like a lot of influencers don't really seem to care right now, which is horrible. Like, how do you see... Now we're up to 400,000 people in America dying and you just like continue to party like you're really sending a message not only to you but to your audience that you don't care. And maybe your audience of like 12 year olds won't care but I'm 23 baby I'm I don't I don't forgive and forget I will remember that you don't care and you're partying. And to be fair a lot of the people that are doing that right now aren't people I follow or watch. It's a lot of like TikTok people which the only reason I know any of that is from frenemies so. And also like James Charles but we Ben knew he was problematic. Okay so it cut off because my camera died. In the meantime I put on lashes so it wasn't a complete waste of time. I also started watching the new episode of frenemies and that gave me a little bit of backstory but where I had left off was basically saying um influencers right now are partying during COVID so I know that Trisha has done this safely, um, which is admirable, admirable at least because, you know, you're still making art through this hard time, but making sure it's safe for everybody and not spreading this disease because a lot of influencers seem to just not care. So I did get some more backstory on the music video though. 
I can't believe I'm this stupid to not realize 2005, 1985, like it makes sense for her to use the instrumental for that. So my bad there. Um, also, she's not emulating, what did I say, Pamela Anderson? No, not Pamela Anderson. Um, Anna Nicole Smith. She's not emulating Anna Nicole Smith with her monokini look. It's Paris Hilton in like a Carlsbad commercial, which that one I don't remember. <laughs> but it makes more sense for it to be Paris Hilton. I think she was very early 2000s. Okay, so basically um, all I have left to do is put on some highlighter and finish off the video. See, I don't know what MCR video, video this is. I don't know if this is Helena. Um, I'm not, I never really got too much into MCR. Oh, and she also had said that the Blink-182 video was from All the Small Things, which I should have known. I mean, come on, that's like one of their most popular songs. Like, everybody and their mom knows All the Small Things, even if you don't know Blink-182. So, that was my bad. I'm having a brain fog today. Alright, so yeah, that was it. She was ending really on like the MCR, which I know she is really into MCR and gets a lot of backlash for that, which is stupid. I mean, just because you don't like somebody doesn't mean you can like say what they can and can't do with their platform, you know, unless it's causing harm to others and being ignorant, which I mean, sometimes Trisha does. I'm not going to get into all her controversies. Con controversies. If you're here watching this video, I'm sure you're kind of aware of who she is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do some makeup and watch that video with you guys. I think it was really well done. I really liked some of the callbacks to the early 2000s. I mean, that's the era that makes me feel nostalgic. I mean, come on, I'm only 23, but that's what I, you know, that's some of my first memories. So to see that and to see these music videos being recreated is really cool. It's so weird to like be at an age where something is nostalgic, where something is coming back in style, where something is back in fashion even. Um, so yeah. Oh. Also, you know what, like, the song's pretty catchy, like, you know, people dog on Trisha because she's not the most amazing singer, but it's like, I think this this song is definitely more in her range, and it just, you know, it fits well. I think it works for her, um, and it's definitely different, and it's nice to see her, like, kind of getting out of the box. And yeah, I'm curious to see more about what they talk about in front of me is about it because I only had watched like the first 10 minutes. This is the makeup look I created while we were watching the video. I hope you like it. I did the eyes with I Like You A Lot ColourPop palette. The lips is the new NYX Shine Loud Magic Maker. No, it's called Shine Loud and the color is in Magic Maker. I'm glad I picked one of these up because they're actually sold out now. Um, I did my highlight with the Ofra Cosmetics in Glazed Donut. Lashes are Ardell in the Wispies. So yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this will become a little series. I actually enjoyed it. It was kind of a lot quicker than some of my other videos where <laughs> I have to do a whole face or I'm really like rambling about some other stuff. So maybe I'll, uh, I'll keep up with this. Let me know how you guys like it. If you liked anything you saw today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You don't have to like. Like, what is it even for? But like, subscribe. You should definitely do that. Thanks to all my guys, gals, and non-binary folks in between for watching this video. I'll see you next time.